Industrial gases are used in virtually every industry and every consumer product that you can imagine. You buy a bag of chips at the store, you open it up, it's crisp because of nitrogen. Open up a can of soda, you hear the pop fizz, that's because of CO2. You go to the hospital and you need to get an MRI done. An MRI is cooled using liquid helium. Industrial gases are in everything that you can imagine. The company was initially founded in 1902, when two young entrepreneurs uh, just out of college, working in a garage in a suburb of Paris, developed the first commercially viable way to separate the air you and I are breathing and to liquefy it into liquid oxygen and liquid nitrogen. That was really the beginning of what helped enable the industrial age. Up until that point in time, if you wanted to cut a piece of metal, you had to find a way to hard cut it. And if you wanted to join two pieces of metal, you had to use rivets. This was the beginning of utilizing oxoacetylene torch cutting and welding in metal fabrication. When the commodity industries really started to evolve, steel, chemicals, even refining, we developed our large industries business. As space evolved in the 60s, those same technologies and cryogenics enabled the production of the propellants for liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen that would propel the rockets into space. We have continued to evolve new technologies in the digital world and in healthcare, and certainly most recently with the world's focus on the energy transition and all that we need to do around carbon management and climate. We have now developed the new state-of-the-art methodology for capturing carbon from an industrial process, all in one basic unit, to purify it, to liquefy it, to basically deliver it at a supercritical state for either reuse or for transport for sequestration. The concept of hydrogen and how it drives the energy transition is the forefront, and clearly we are driving those innovations. So as an industry leader, Air Liquide is always there, bringing new innovations, new ideas, new capabilities. But it's really our employees that make that happen. It's our employees that develop those new innovations, those technologies that design and build our facilities and sell our products and meet with our customers and our patients every day and how they work with others, whether that's in the workplace with our customers or very importantly, in the communities in which we operate that make us a leader in the world around us. We recently inaugurated a new liquid hydrogen plant in North Las Vegas, Nevada. It's our largest liquid hydrogen production facility in the world. We produce 30 tons a day of liquid hydrogen for the fuel cell electric vehicle market in California. Uh, it's a very important sector because we see this as transportation for the future. That's low carbon transportation using hydrogen. Air Liquide is a pioneer in this space. We see the investment that we made there, about a $250 million investment, as really important for the industry because it was one of the first large-scale investments for the supply of reliable hydrogen to the mobility market in California. The hydrogen we produced from this facility has the ability to supply 40,000 fuel cell electric vehicles in California. Air Liquide is a pioneer in hydrogen. We have a facility in Beckencourt, Quebec, where we operate the world's largest PEM electrolyzer to produce low carbon hydrogen for the mobility market in the Northeast part of the US and in Canada. A PEM electrolyzer is a way of taking water and electrolyzing it to produce hydrogen and basically water vapor. This low carbon source of hydrogen is very important and it's using renewable power on the electrolyzer to produce hydrogen. At Air Liquide, we have and continue to invest in hydrogen across the value chain, from production facilities to refueling infrastructure, from carbon capture technologies to energy storage. We have the market expertise and the global footprint to react to the needs of our customers globally as they move toward the energy transition. We have a history of leadership in establishing the markets of the future through our hydrogen expertise story and our innovation in providing products to the semiconductor industry, as well as advancing and evolving the fueling of spaceflight. Very recently, NASA launched the Artemis mission. Air Liquide is a nitrogen supplier to NASA and provides a very important gas in the inerting environment around rocket ship to ensure a safe launch sequence. Air Liquide has a very large healthcare business. 
and and we are the world's largest supplier of medical oxygen. We're the largest supplier of medical oxygen in the U.S. And it was very critical as things evolved with COVID that we were able to supply the medical oxygen needs that the world required. Oxygen demand in many parts of the world grew by as much as fivefold. We very, very quickly mobilized our capabilities, mobilized our employees to ensure patients' lives could be saved by having the right quantities of medical oxygen available. We actually produced 10,000 new respirators in just five weeks to meet the needs of those countries that were in dire need of those respirators. We also worked in a variety of different geographies to build field hospitals where there were many countries uh, that needed to expand their capabilities to serve patients. We have worked hard to deliver medical oxygen into very, very, very hard to reach geographies. We were able to get to the far reaches of the country of India, utilizing and, and working with the State Department of the United States to go ahead and support the airlift of medical oxygen into those areas. In the country of Brazil, we work with the government, we work with local authorities in order to move medical oxygen into the innermost areas of the Amazon. This is a problem, whether it's COVID or in other circumstances, to go to low-income countries and, and help them actually establish the capabilities to self-produce, to deliver the medical oxygen that they so desperately need. Today and historically, we've seen hydrogen in the industrial sectors. Tomorrow, we're going to see it also advancing as an energy vector. By 2050, we expect that 20% or more of energy needs will be supplied by hydrogen. Over the next five to 10 years, we will see the adoption of hydrogen rapidly accelerate. Ehrlich Key's future will continue to be driven to meet the needs of the world around us in a sustainable way. To develop the technologies to drive the innovations that not only will allow us to do the things we do each and every day, but to really continue to think about the future, to think about the needs of the energy transition and how hydrogen carbon capture will help enable that. We'll continue to work in the digital space to enable the latest generation of capabilities in transistor technology and chip technology in the healthcare space, we will continue to work and develop on new technologies to treat pathologies that we've been unable to treat in the past. The future of Ehrlich Key, bottom line, lies in our employees. It's hiring the right people, it's developing those people, it's challenging those people. It's giving them the opportunity to fulfill their own goals that not only allow Ehrlich Key to grow, but allow our employees to give back to the communities in which we operate, to do good things in the world around us.